Let's talk about carry trades, one of the most popular Forex trading strategies. In this video, I'm going to explain what carry trades are, why they're so popular, and what conditions they work and don't work. Then we'll talk about what to expect for carry trades in 2024. Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Lee with BK Traders, and our channel covers trading Forex with fundamentals, trading strategies including gold, and so much more. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button for updates so you don't miss any new videos. The carry trade strategy is a staple for institutional investors and hedge funds looking to capitalize from the global markets. It's as popular as the idea of buy low, sell high for equity funds. And when I say global, I mean global. The big money, hedge funds, and institutional investors move their money from one corner of the world to another and seek of the highest yield, the highest interest rate, and return. And they fund these investments by borrowing in a currency with a lower interest rate. Here's how it works. Let's imagine that Japan has an interest rate of 0.5%, pretty much near zero, which is reality. A carry trade investor would borrow in the Japanese yen, paying that 0.5% interest rate. And then they would convert that money into higher yielding currency like the New Zealand dollar, which you know can offer as much as 5.5% in interest rate. The profit comes in from the difference between these interest rates, 5.5% minus 0.5%, which is basically 5% times the hundreds of millions of dollars that they invested in this market. Roughly speaking, this daily interest rate is calculated in the following way. For $100,000 invested in the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen pair, the daily interest income is calculated with the interest rate of the currency that you're long minus the interest rate of the currency that you're short divided by the number of days in a year times your position size which for $100,000 would give the investor about $14.75 per day in return in interest and income, cash on cash. Now that would be the exact number, of course, just a rough back of the envelope calculation because Forex firms and banks calculate the interest rate income based on the overnight interest rates that fluctuate on a daily basis. As of January 2004, this table shows where the highest interest rates in the world are and what the most liquid currencies in the world are. And hedge funds basically mix and match to create the greatest returns with the lowest risk. Now, why does this matter to you? Because as an everyday investor and trader, you can also make money from carry trades. The biggest opportunity is not just limited to the large investors. So how can this be done? Now, let's start with investing. Using online platforms, regular investors like you and I can also borrow in the Japanese yen and invest in higher yielding currencies earning what we call the daily rollover or interest rate differentials. In order for the interest income to be meaningful, an investor needs to hold the trades for a long period of time and the size needs to be large. But that should be okay because these people are investing. And to do that, carry trade investors should be using little to no leverage. Of course, this investment or trade only works if the exchange rate, for example, the Australian dollar jab yen pair, does not change or increase or decrease in value. If Aussie M falls in value, that could offset the interest income you're earning. And in some cases, if the exchange rate falls enough, it could erase the return completely, which is why it's so important to understand when carry trades work and don't work, which we'll get to in a minute, I promise. For traders, there's plenty of opportunity to piggyback on the hedge funds, institutional, and individual investors who are getting into these carry trades because when they buy, it effectively drives up the value of the currency. 2023 was a very, very strong year for carry trades. Many people called it the golden year for carry trades. Not only was interest return growing with central banks raising interest rates, but if you invested in the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen currency pair, as you can see in this chart, it appreciated more than 10%, while the US dollar Japanese yen pair in this chart gained over 15% in value before nosediving mid-November. These are cash on cash returns. So as a trader, if you use five or even 10 times leverage, that could be 50 to 75% or 100 to 150% return with interest income on top of it. You may not have caught the entire move, but you could have traded in the general direction the big money flows and captured a part of it, and that still would have been substantial. The problem with leverage, however, is that it comes with increased risk and losses that can be compounded if the exchange rate loses value. And that's why understanding when carry trades work and don't work is so important. If you want to make money from carry trades, you need to have the exchange rate either remain stable or rise in value. For this to happen, you ideally want three things to be occurring fundamentally. Number one, you want central banks to either be in the process of raising interest rates 
or planning to increase them. Ideally, you want to get into characters at the beginning of a rate tightening cycle and not at the end. Number two, you want a low volatility environment. Big money carry trades are usually focused on earning the interest rate differential or the yield, with capital appreciation just being the bonus, the sweetener on top of their investment. In fact, many institutional investors will go so far as hedge their foreign exchange risk almost completely to capture a focus on the yield and interest rate income. Third, you want to buy carry trades in a risk-seeking environment. That means in a fundamental backdrop of rising stocks, or strong or strengthening global domestic growth and optimistic investors. The reason why this is important because investors or traders are only willing to take on these risky trades when they're optimistic and they're not nervous or panicking about something. Now let's talk about when carry trades fail. Carry trades struggle under three conditions. The first thing you want to look for is that when central banks are who are offer higher interest rates are talking about or the process of lowering them, cutting interest rates, that's bad news. Falling or shrinking yields discourages investors from being in carry trades. They become less compelled to go along the currency pair and are more likely to look elsewhere for more return opportunities. Second, high volatility is also bad for carry trades because it increases the risk of exchange rate losses being erased completely or stopping out your trades, especially when leverage is used. And third, Carry trades suffer when stocks are falling, especially when they're crashing, and when investors are nervous about global or domestic growth. When that happens, we typically see investors unwind their risky carry trade bet and go to either less risky investments or just cash completely. This would involve selling the higher yielding currency and returning the funds borrowed and the low yielding currency by buying it back. Carry trades will also suffer if a central bank intervenes in the currency exchange market to stop its currency from rising or prevents it from falling further. But countries that are export dependent, an excessively strong currency could take a big bite out of exports, while an excessively weak currency could hurt the earnings of companies with foreign operations. So exchange rates are important to central banks. Trends in the currency market are strong and directional. In a positive carry trade environment, traders should be looking for opportunities to buy on dips in the direction of the carry, then to fade it because usually those moves will last for a while. Unfortunately, 2024 is more likely to be shaping up to be a year where carry trades suffer. Investors are already pricing in interest rate cuts by many of the major central banks. And the one central bank that is expected to raise interest rates, the Bank of Japan, is going to be the one to focus on because Japanese yen is the number one favored funding currency, which basically compounds the attractiveness of squaring up those carry trade bets. There's still yield opportunity, especially before central banks actually indicate and admit that interest rate cuts are around the corner. So if you want to benefit from carry, you need to hedge the exchange rate risk through options, or you need to go the other way and basically sell the carry trades until the central banks are serious about lowering interest rate. Fundamentals matter. If you are interested in learning how to trade with fundamentals, check out the description of this video for a special discount on my fundamental trading course and my trading indicators and signals package. Growth could slow in the coming year of 2024, which will be very bad for carry trades. So I'll see you all next time.